I can't believe I'm going to be leaving this place. I know I've been thinking about it for a while now, but I can't believe it's actually happening. So this might be one of the last times that you'll see me filming in this room. I remember when I first saw that room downstairs and the beautiful kitchen, I knew I had to move here. I believe at the time I was still living at home in LA. I was probably in between jobs. I was already thinking about the possibility of moving up here because a lot of my friends were already here. But that idea only became more real when I saw this place. I love how the air feels fresher, the freeway is less crowded, and how boring people think it is up here. I love that we hang out at home instead of feeling the need to go out somewhere. I love that every time I visit it, they would take me go hiking because they really didn't know what else to do. I love that there's so many hiking trails very close by. When I first saw this place on Baja Rose, I was pretty much set on moving, but I still didn't have a job lined up yet. My friend slash landlord had told me that there's going to be a room that's going to be available by end of the year around Thanksgiving. And if I want to move here, I should let them know by that time before they have to start looking for a new tenant. But but when the time came when I had to give him an answer, I still didn't have anything lined up. The time had come to me to make a decision. Do I believe in myself enough to make it over there without having anything lined up? Despite all my self-doubts, I decided to go with my gut feeling to commit to renting out that room for $1,200 a month. and it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Moving to Northern California changed my life. It's not because of all the job opportunities here, though yes, there are a ton of innovative companies here, but it's mainly because of the lifestyle here in comparison to mine in LA. People or companies care more about work-life balance here, and because it's so boring, everyone's just kind of forced to just go outdoor. At least that's how my circle is like. In LA, everyone was so overworked, and the very little joy we have left was sucked up by the endless traffic. In LA, I really didn't make that much money and the very little money I had left was spent on buying myself some happiness, be it eating out all the time or just buying things. Here in Barrio, I was getting paid higher because of the higher cost of living, but honestly, my rent is not higher than it was in LA. I ate out less because I was less inclined or pressured to eat out and actually had more time to cook. Overall, I was actually saving more money than I was in LA. I was going hiking on the weekends, which was mostly free, rather than going shopping. I had the time and space to actually reflect and listen to my mind here. Of course, I also met the best partner I could ever ask for. It's great to be surrounded by these innovative companies, but of course it comes with its own sets of problems but in general my mind is clear and less cluttered by the unnecessary evils i want more for my life instead of the surface level things i was hiding behind i was able to take that very uncomfortable step in uploading my first youtube video and starting this channel in that little room and i was able to pick up my camera again and relearn how to use it better to better capture my memory memories and my life. I started my indoor quarantine jungle in this room and I was able to host my friends and family in that beautiful kitchen and we created some beautiful memories and I've also met some friends that I would love to keep for life. It's crazy how much the environment can change and shape us. That's why I'm always trying to convince my LA friends and family to move up here. I haven't had any success so far. Drive to Lake Tahoe or Yosemite for the long weekend instead of driving to Las Vegas. Trust me, it will nourish your soul and feed your mind so much more. Instead of scrolling on Yelp looking for the latest new restaurant to spend my money at, I am now looking for cool places to take pictures and nice places to hike. Food may not be as good, which is the number one complaint I hear about over here, but the benefits definitely outweigh the negatives for me. We are close enough to SF or LA if I need to get my fix once in a while. Me and Andrew also try to improve our cooking so we can also have yummy food at home. And now I can't believe I'm leaving this place where I called home for the last three years. 
I was so lucky to be able to grow in such a spacious house, especially during the pandemic. I'm going to miss being able to walk to Trader Joe's in 5 minutes or walk to the mall in 5 minutes. I complain about things here and there, but I'm definitely going to miss this place and the people that were in it. It's sad, but we already know how much our environment can help us grow, so I'm excited for our next chapter. I know by having our own space, we're going to grow even more. I'm so grateful for the safe space, the nurture, the care that this space has provided. Goodbye, Baja Rose Cafe.